Hello and uh, welcome to SketchUp.us. So we have uh, a previous video showing you the issues which we might have using uh, Follow Me tool. Uh, basically, uh, when you have complex shapes like this, you might have bulges and it's not going to be able to create a solid uh, volume. So no solid volume, so you cannot use the solid modifiers like subtract, uh, intersect, and so on. So here is uh, the quick solutions. Um, so what you can do basically, build in pieces, and uh, this arch could be substituted as a series of short lines. So basically, instead of having a circle arch, part of a circle, you're gonna have a polygon, and uh, you're gonna have always lines instead of an arch. Uh, you can divide that arch, uh, you know, you can click on right and divide, and again, you can divide in a few pieces. Um, and you need to have this section, use it from the top. And so basically, I will use push-pull tool to do the leg, and after that, uh, I can uh, have some modification of that particular element with the arch uh, part, which is... Uh, basically in a certain uh, angle. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, so I uh, I already divide the arch uh, in uh, four sections. So I need to find out where the center of the arch is. So you just click online or click L. So here is where actually the arch starts. So you can just take a line and you create basically a quick uh, line over there. Why you make that plane over there, well, uh, the reason why is because you want to copy this one, so we can do it move with the copy, so click on M and on the Alt uh, Option key on Mac or Control key on Windows, and you, you have that copy and you're going to rotate it, so you click on Q to rotate that particular uh, section, you take the reference and you have it rotated. So now with uh, push-pull, if you click on P, you can uh, create a surface. So again, if you want to do that, you need to delete the lines which you use it as a reference. And again, it's P, push-pull, and here is the small element which you need uh, to use in order to create uh, a segment arch. Basically, you, you build the bricks of the arches. Uh, and again, you click space bars, make a component, and uh, let's say uh, component to this line. And this one, as you can see, has got the volume now. In the same way, P, you can click this one up to the intersection saying, and again, we'll. Uh, Select everything, create a component, let's create, and this one as well is got the volume. So therefore, with those two, now I can uh, I can do some uh, work, and uh, you can copy this one if you like. And let's get out from the maximum. I just want to show you it's not really perfect, so you need to trim both of them against this uh, plane where uh, we have the the radius of the arch so you you have to trim that one and again you have to trim it again uh, for the next one so now you're gonna create two planes to to do that uh, particular uh, uh, operation so you can do it in different ways as well uh, Probably the easiest way is to create um, a line for the arch, and again, you go up to the intersection, and uh, again, up to the intersection. So here is a, a plane. Uh, you probably need to do the same, uh, same thing for the next uh, uh, brick, so whatever you break here, you should have it on the other side as well. 
because when uh, when you take the next uh, yeah probably you should have it something like this. All right, so you can erase whatever you don't need. This one, uh, this one, and you create uh, a section plane basically. What you need actually it's uh, something outside of that box. Basically, you want uh, it is true to say so. So basically, if I will extrude this door outside, I want to cut just this plane here and this plane here. So how uh, how we can do that? Well, you can extrude this down with the copy so you click on option key and you can do this again with the copy and whatever is between them you can select them like this and deselect it's shift control uh, so you select them first and after that it's uh, minus you took the those which actually you want to keep so then you lose this and the rest you can delete them. okay and after that you can make a component up top pay attention to not select anything else so you make a component here I have the arches too uh, so I need to take those off again shift option I don't need this I want to deselect them that one too so make a component okay double check to make sure oh, of course we have a small issue um, and the issue is let's see where is the issue oh, okay. and the issue is here this guy we don't need that We're gonna spend a little bit of time to see exactly why this is a component. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll fix that shortly. Same thing for this one. Make a component. Uh, and we, uh, again, so this guy is fine. Take this guy and this guy. Move them back a little bit. Now I can see where the issue is here, this, this small thing here. So, this thing, it's, uh, it's a line, so the computer cannot compute a face. And here it is, we got the volume. And now we'll take uh, from this one, you can use the shortcuts, but you can do subtract that. And I want to take this, and again, Select the second plane. Oops. Um, this one and again tools subtract. And I want to subtract this guy. Actually, it was uh, it was good to keep a copy. Yeah. Make it one thing. It's better to use this twice. So it's uh, good to have. This one, green, and uh, you have a reference again. It's option key. So now uh, I will select this guy, and again, tool, subtract. And I have the first part. So I just create basically the uh, arch brick. And now I'm moving this guy back Oops. on the green line, like that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, here I, I like to use this guy to trim also the, the other face. Um, 
So we'll double click on it. We'll uh, extrude P with push pull with the copy. Uh, take that face and after that space again to select and delete the bottom part which I don't need. Okay. And now this guy could be subtracted from this guy. Okay. That's the reason I want to have two copies. Right, so now I do have two volumes which uh, they match. Uh, yeah, we do have a small problem here. So I didn't pay attention. Uh, actually, I'm supposed to make sure I will have the volume cut in this area as well. So when I need my plane, I'm supposed to, to have this one take it. But for this exercise, it's fine. And uh, we just uh, copy this one, for instance, we can copy this one and copy it. We'll put it here, and again, you need to make sure you uh, you rotate it against the plane. So we'll do the same thing. We'll, uh, we'll take a line from here. a line from the plane doesn't really matter but what I want is basically the plane and again I'll rotate to I would like to rotate that particular element right, so it's a bit difficult to do it but once I have two it would be easy to rotate the other ones as well so anyway uh, here is how you do it basically you go slowly one by one and uh, after that you can give a union of all those elements and you're gonna have uh, a nice uh, 3d model it's painful for sure but uh, at least uh, will be built correctly and again we'll, uh, we'll do more exercises uh, regarding how you can build an arch. This is actually very similar to how the arches they were built a long time ago. Again, let's get out from the extra mode. But will be something like this. And you'll, uh, you'll build your arches again. You can copy both uh, elements. And again, you can select all of them. And you can make it as a union solid tool. And here it is. You got built an arch, this time it's working. Thank you.